I'm on the way home from the gun club. Had a really good time. Shot some guns with my friends. These are uh, friends I worked with before I retired. They called me up and they were going to be down at the gun club. So I decided to go down and spend a little bit of the afternoon shooting together, have a fun time. But anyway, I wanted to talk about another subject. I am asked in emails quite frequently to share some of my uh, wisdom as if I really uh, am full of wisdom. We'll say I'm full of something else. But um, I do pick up things by paying attention to other people. And I've had some really good mentors in life that have shown me some things that um, have really helped me to grow. One mentor I had, I'll call him Mr. K. Uh, I was always fascinated by the fact that... Uh, I think I was in my early 30s when I met him. I was always fascinated by the fact that he never seemed to get uh, upset with criticism. I know, especially a lot of people in their younger years, they tend to get upset when people criticize them. Um, constru I'm talking about constructive criticism. I'm not talking about people just uh, being nasty and insulting people. I'm talking about people that maybe uh, have a different idea than you and want to express a different opinion, even, uh, even rather strongly. And uh, I noticed he just never kind of got shook by that. He didn't uh, really talk about what he did, but I watched what he did, and it really fascinated me how in control he seemed all the time. And uh, later on, I did get a chance to talk to him about it, and he told me, you know, when you get upset over somebody giving you criticism or uh, sharing a difference of opinion than you have or having a different idea than you, you... Uh, kind of lose the whole argument and the, the control goes out and it all kind of just doesn't accomplish anything. So basically I have tried, I mean I've, and I've still got a long ways to go to be as good as him, but I've always tried to uh, disagree with somebody without being disagreeable, but that does not mean I'm not passionate about my ideas. I mean I'm definitely passionate and I do argue points. So anyway, what's been happening lately, and I've noticed this on a couple of different websites, that people are uh, using disagreements to uh, just personally attack people or personally uh, insult people, and it's uh, it kind of like ends the discussion. I mean, it's it's their choice to do it, and you know, it's not something that's going to be uh, upsetting in and of itself, especially if you have some kind of self-confidence. Uh, really, you shouldn't be that frustrated because somebody decides to do that, but uh, it kind of does in the conversation. And uh, two good examples that have happened lately that I'm going to talk about is uh, I was on a website of a friend of mine that uh, was talking about what he thought about rules of vlogger etiquette about do's and don'ts and things like that and uh, they were bringing up a subject matter and I had a difference of opinion myself about what I thought about it and so uh, I uh, made a reply to a specific uh, vlogger about it with my uh, trying to get a conversation started with my alternate opinion to see if we could get something going there and uh, instead the person uh, just chose to uh, tell me that I was uh, starting trying to start an argument which I wasn't trying to I was actually starting I was arguing my point and then, then I was going to give them an opportunity to argue their point I wasn't trying I was uh, almost succeeding but uh, they would keep the conversation going and as a matter of fact later on they expressed the fact that I had some kind of vendetta against them which is rather strange being that I don't um, this is a person that's a YouTube kind of superstar with thousands of uh, subscribers I mean way above uh, the amount I'll ever see or anything like that but for some reason they had a an idea that I was out to get them or something and uh, I guess if I had a vendetta against somebody wouldn't I come by their website and uh, dislike their videos, but I've never done it to this person. I've never disliked their videos, never flagged their videos, never, I've never even left an um, insulting comment, but evidently for some reason they thought I had a vendetta out, but it, it wasn't so much even that. It's just that it kind of ended the conversation. There was uh, no place to go from there because if I was going to try to 
continue on and continue on. It would just be, you know, um, that person, you know, expressing insults. And you can't have a conversation if somebody's going to express insults. So, uh, and then on the other hand, what I had happen just a little bit earlier than that was somebody came on one of my older videos and made a comment. I mean, uh, I don't, I'm, since I'm in the car here, I can't give the exact words to it, but it was basically that my video, the way it was laid out on one of my older videos, it kind of sucked, and it did. I mean, I went back and even looked at it, but even had I disagreed with them that it didn't suck, um, I didn't express any insult toward them or anything like that. I just, as a matter of fact, when I objectively looked it over, I could see the points that they made and even kind of agreed with them that it did. But even if I didn't agree with them, even if I thought it was a, a good video, it's still their opinion that it kind of sucked. Um, I replied in a way that was trying to get some conversation going, and it actually worked in this uh, video, and it's an old video about um, going to Al Capone's hideout. Started a conversation and the person replied, and uh, I think they were rather shocked that I didn't get insulted by them, you know, saying that my video was kind of sucky. Which, you know, I, if, if you want a conversation, you can disagree. I mean, my YouTube page is a, a free speech page, just, uh, you know, express why you disagree. Uh, that's kind of why I hate to think about the, you know, thumbs down thing. I mean, say why, thumbs down. I'm not going to say I'm going to change, but anyway, I digress. We got a conversation started, and this person actually told me a lot of personal history about um, Al Capone and the gangs around Chicago and their grandfather. So we got a long conversation started, and uh, it became so interesting. I think the comments themselves made the video so much better. And to me, um, part of YouTube experience is not just watching the videos. I mean, sometimes it's that, but. In some cases, if you can get somebody to join you in a conversation in comments, I think it took my kind of crappy video and actually made it into a, person, a pretty decent video because of the fact this person added some comments that really added a lot of history to go along with it and made something that was kind of garbage into something pretty good. So what I want to do for my piece of advice is I want to challenge you to actually seek out somebody that has a different viewpoint or answer somebody. Now, I don't, I'm not talking about answering a troll. If somebody just goes to your YouTube video and say, oh, you suck or you're a douchebag, I mean, obviously just, you know, ignore them or delete the comment or something like that. But if somebody wants to try to strike up a disagreement with you, give it a chance to start a conversation. You should be able to tell pretty soon within a few um, answers back and forth if the person's really willing to hold a conversation with you or are they just there to insult you or say oh you're out to get me or you have a vendetta against me or something like that you should be able to tell and uh, sometimes at least based on my experience of a couple of weeks ago it can turn out rather nice so don't think um, just because somebody disagrees with you that they're out to get you or they're out to uh, or they don't even, or don't even necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't like you. I mean, all it means is they disagree with you on an opinion. And uh, that's just kind of part of maturity is dealing with people that uh, have different opinions than you. So, I, yeah, I do. I want to challenge everybody. Try to strike up a conversation with somebody that disagrees with you, either on your website, on their website, or on a third-party website if somebody leaves a comment, you know. If, if that's what you you know if that's what you're into doing but uh, when somebody gets to the point where they're just going to uh, believe you're out to attack them or just going to hurl a personal uh, insult on you it kind of uh, it takes away from the whole, from the whole community the conversation that could take place and it takes away the learning process so that's my uh, two cents worth of advice and uh, since my channel is a free speech channel, as long as you're not like a, a spammer, porn, or you're just going to go there and uh, post swear words, uh, basically it's free conversation for everybody. You know, what? Uh, if you have a video that totally disagrees with everything I talked about, by all means, make your video. Let me know that you made a video. Uh, post it as a video response. Uh, I'm happy to... Uh, grant time to opposing viewpoints. That's what it's all about. If you're just, uh, like they say, you never learn anything. If the, if the preacher's just preaching to the choir, then nobody, nobody learns anything. So that's my two cents. Take care, everybody.